Hey YouTube, it's Budget Game 75 here today, and today I'm playing my boss as a Futunari. Why the hell do I even play this? <laughs> I mean, I thought that this series was dead, to be honest, but it's still ongoing. This person's still making games of this game. But don't get me wrong, guys. I'm not into food, okay? I like my wife who's all clean. No food is. Alright, let's get into it. Let's type in my name. Of course, Metro Game 75. You guys will already know. That's me. Ah, thanks for welcoming me. Oh, I just press the enter button. Your adventure starts here. It's almost time, at least. I had hope to hope so. Friday at 5 p.m. And one last thing to finish up before I managed to get away from the stupid office for another weekend. As a developer, the job was simple for the most part. Developers. Developers, 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 developers. Until there was a deadline and I had Jessica breathing down my neck. Something about female boss in an IT environment. Always made sure that they were breathing down your neck at all times. Dear God. Oh my God. Breathing down on your neck. Like they had to prove some some prove themselves somehow in order to get ahead. And she was such a, a damn ball buster at the best of times. With headphones in and a scream busy, normally she left me alone, but recently something had changed. Oh boy. Alright. Uh, it's office. You know, we were alone in the office that afternoon with everyone else. It bailing early and it made me nervous. Not that a female boss should have made me nervous, but the fact she wore she wore mostly inappropriate clothing and also was insanely aggressive didn't Definitely did the trick. I watched her all day strutting around in her pencil skirt and heels, which wasn't always a bad thing. Even the blouse she was wearing barely contained her spectacular tits. Too bad her personality turned her from an 8 in looks into a 5 overall because she, su she was such a bitch, man. Insane deadlines, a shrill voice, a shrill voice that always bark at you whenever she was displeased with the work. If it wasn't for the bum in salary, the new job would have been as nice as she was definitely good at to look at. Damn it, my, why do my friends gotta interrupt my videos? Well, at least it was almost over. The office was quiet and I was almost done with everything. The rest of, of the evening was going to be spent with a pizza, my Xbox, and probably taking breaks to jerk off. <laughs> probably got a Series X somewhere around there. After all, it was a weekend. Most of them were spent the same way, relaxing with myself. I knew that I should probably try to line up a date, but all the apps had dried up lately. My email pinged and my heart fell when I saw it from Jessica. I almost didn't want to click on it, click and open it, but she was still in the office somewhere and probably knew that I was too. As usual, the last guy behind got left with the cleanup and of the mess at the end of the week. I should have remembered that from the time I had to come in on a weekend because she demanded that something to get done by Monday. Ah, <sighs> Metro Game 75, because you're the last one here, there's a file that needs a, that needs cleaning up. I wonder. Hope it doesn't take take you too long. Yeah, another one. Another of my friends are interrupting me. It's alright. But and of course, an attachment that just skimmed through quickly meant I'd be staying at work for at least another hour. Fuck, man. The funny thing I was I could already tell that it was from something she'd done wrong. And she now wanted me to clean up her mess. Ever since I started at the job that I had been her way, have her uh, minions clean the things up and then take sh make sure she looks good to the higher ups. So, I pull up the other file. I need to finish a pair of hands drop onto my shoulder. Suddenly, scare me. Couldn't help a high pitched squeal escape me. Turning around, I saw Jessica standing with there laughing. Oh no! Jesus, you sound like a little girl. What the fuck? This is when they get sound effects. Yeah, right. Her tits and her annoying grin started me right in the face. My eyes couldn't help but traveling up and down her body, pencil skirt, solid blouse, but hard nipples pointing out. If she wasn't so fucking hot, the job would have been, have been a lot harder. But then her attitude took her took down her looks about three points. Plus, she seemed to have no life beyond her job because she was in the office all the time. What do you want, Jessica? Did you get my email? It's really important that gets done before you leave. I frown. Jessica, it's the end of the day on Friday. Her face only darkened. Yeah, like you 
Of course I do. Like every day, every Friday night I have big plans. She was mocking me, of course, but she was totally right. I had nothing important to do, but she didn't know that I, that, and I was getting shafted because I was the last one in the office. Well, what if I do? This isn't fair. Sounds like a squeak from the defiant child. It was impossible to stand up to her. She could make any man wilt with one lash of her tongue. You make the money you do to get the job done. Suddenly she was all business. Oh dear. Fuck. 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 Why, why do I gotta get screwed over by this? <laughs> As she turned and stalked away, I couldn't help but watch her ass moving. <clears throat> it was round and firm and it was def definitely going into the spank bag for later on. If I ever got out of work, of course. <sighs> I turned back to my computer and quickly finished the task I've been working on in the first place. Only a half an hour past quitting time. If I work hard, I could get the other thing done by 6.30 and be home by 7. Standing up, I headed to the bathroom for a quick break. The office was truly empty, quiet, and almost dark. I knew Jessica was around somewhere, but she also had a nasty habit of popping up where you least expected. I had to piss, and then I could hit the ground running on the next ticket. Who knew? Maybe we could have some kind of after-hours encounter. Although, thinking about it, I suddenly shudder at the idea. Even though she was definitely hot, her attitude was such an insane turnoff. Something about the way she snuck around the office and hovered over people like she just had to me earlier. It was far too common. Thinking about her, there is something inside me, though. Ah, uh, the bathroom. Oh, boy. As I walk into the bathroom and look to drain the main theme. Of course, my yawn was somewhat hard thinking about the way her massive tits look inside her blouse. It was definitely something I was going to think about later on. Maybe even watch some role play, you know. And as I finished, suddenly the, the door shot open and Jessica stalked in. Hey. Oh, shit. What do you think you're doing away from your desk? Um, I'm using the bathroom, of course. Jessica, what the hell? Couldn't even do myself up. It mainly frees at the fact that my boss was inside the bathroom with me. Now my John is hanging out. Just wanted to make sure that you weren't trying to get away without finishing your work. <sighs> Obviously not. And plus, why are you here then? Like, get out. Her eyes drifted down and a small broke across her face. And here I find you taking your time in the bathroom. What, were you jerking off or something? <laughs> what? Oh, come on. What the hell? Glancing down, I saw uh, saw my jaw was definitely hard, and now it was pointing straight at her. I shook my head, no, but a frown came over her face like lightning. God damn, you're disgusting. <laughs> what? I'm going to have to report this to HR. <laughs> Dag nabbit! <laughs> Playing with yourself in the bathroom when you're supposed to be working. But I wasn't. I was just taking a piss. I wasn't trying to sneak away. And I wasn't jerking off, please. Her harsh voice echoed in the room. Everybody else bailed at me earlier, and now I gotta deal with this? Guys, what? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> she glanced down. Oh no, damn! She stepped closer. The room wasn't exactly big, and now that she was within a couple feet of me, it made me realize how I was alone and with my boss I fantasized about many times, many times. My jaw was progressively growing harder, no time to really tuck it in, tuck it back in. Suddenly my whole body went rigid as her hand reached forward and grabbed my semi. It was possibly impossible not to respond and my body betrayed me by even more blood flowing into my jaw. After all, she was a very sexy woman and her massive tits were right in front of me. I could see the lipstick on her left and my brain started to wonder how that shade will look on my jaw or taste my my lips fuck as my jaw got bigger and harder and she laughed wow, you're really turned on, what the hell her grip became firmer and she squeezed my shot making my legs almost buckle there was a gentle stroking motion that made my legs shake her hands was big and covered my entire shaft, sliding over the head and making me shudder with pleasure. I, uh, the words couldn't even come out of my mouth. She moved closer and then, now her lips were only inches away from mine. 
What she was doing to my yarn made me want to kiss her suddenly. While the one hand was strapped around my jaw, the other moved to the blouse and, and went inside as she started to unbutton it. Jessica was n notorious for not wearing a, a bra around the office, and it was a subject of a lot of co-workers fantasized at the lunch table, what her tits actually looked like. As the buttons fell off, I realized I was about to find out. Now my jaw was harder than ever. The buttons slowly fell away as I expected her breast that wasn't covered by a The skirt slid back up over her hips. And I watched her tuck her big jaw back into her panties, pinning it to her thigh with a band. Now the mystery of how she kept the monster hidden was solved. Her blouse spun back up over her gorgeous tits as she took a look at herself in the mirror. While I was starting started wiping up my cum from the floor with some tissue paper. Oh dear. Before she walked out of the bathroom, she yanked me to my feet and kissed me hard. Her tongue invaded my mouth. It was sexy and made me made my recent drained jaw twitch again. I was suddenly I was suddenly I was really looking forward to work on Monday. I watched her pencil skirt sway out of the door. My body was still shaking, and I wondered what it was going to be like at work from now on. My sexy boss and her big John, whatever, she, whatever, he using me whenever she like, however she like, sounded like a bit of a bonus. Dear God, dear Neptunes. The the end. Well, that's the end. Ugh, what a what a game. Well, thank you everyone for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.